and welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage. The two amigos are back in this biatch. And Tommy. And guess what we're doing today? What do we what what do we got up up our sleeves today? Well, right? today we're doing a WCW Greed 2001 review, pay per view review. Pay -view for you guys. And you know what? This is the RIP. Yes. This is the last WCW pay per view ever. Yep. Uh, we should go ahead. This is WCW Greed. Not Creed, but Green. When you are with, with me. me. I'm free. <laughs> WCW Greed 2001 pay per view review for you guys. This is March 18th, 2001. And Tommy, on March 26th of 2001, eight, a mere eight days later. WCW goes out of business. Yep, and <laughs> WWE buys them. WWE buys them up that Monday uh, for Nitro. Yep. And uh, they're done. Yep, they're done. Because of the Time Warner-Turner uh, merger. That's right. Um, Sounds like something else is going to be merging here soon. Discovery? <sighs> Change shit. <laughs> Tommy, on commentary, we have uh, Tony Schiavone and Scott Hudson. Tony Schiavone! Actually, I've never, I like Tony Schiavone as an announcer. Yeah, he's all right. Now, well, nowadays he sucks. Yeah, he That's just me. Yeah. I did enjoy him in this era. Yeah. But in, and nowadays, Tony Schiavone is just dull. And we got but Scott I, Hudson. Well, I do like Scott Hudson. I like Scott Hudson. He's, I mean, he's, he's a announcer. fucking underrated announcer. He is. He is. Like, Scott Hudson don't get no love, no respect, no credit he deserves. Mm -hmm. He To me, I like Scott Hudson on commentary. No doubt. And I would take Scott Hudson on commentary now than fucking half the goddamn people that are on commentary now. Tommy. I want to hear, ooh, ooh. Uh, That's why I love Saturday night. <laughs> uh... We're at the Jacksonville Memorial Coliseum oh. in Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, we're in Tony Khan's neck of the woods. We are. We're the in Tony Khan's Boogaloo Woods. Boogaloo Woods. Uh, there is no dark match for Greed. Yep, no dark match for Greed. But the, fir one. But the first match on the card, Tommy, we got Kwee Who the fuck is Kwee <laughs> Kiwi is Alan Funk. Oh, we know a lot about Alan Funk. We've seen him a lot on WCW. Oh, Saturday we night. sure do. Can we do that? Yeah. We yeah. know a lot about Kwee Wee. Kwee Wee. As he, as takes, he on takes on the young and up and coming. The young and up and coming Easy Money. AKA Jason Jett. Jason Jett. But we know him as Easy Money in yeah. ECW. Yeah, uh, even though he's wearing Skyfire tights. Yeah. It says Skyfire on him. I know. He's, uh, and the Jets on the ass. And the Jets on the ass. Are you going to be my girl? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, uh, yeah, me and Tommy know Jason Jett from his ECW days as Easy Money. Yeah, good matches with Kid Cash. Great matches with, yeah. with, with Kid Cash, uh, as Kid Cash, uh, would, uh, take on, uh, Hot Commodity. He always took on Easy Money, though. <coughs> Mainly Easy Money. Which was way better, because they had way <laughs> better matches. And honestly... A fast-paced yeah. match. This was actually a good match. This was actually a I good match. I know people like, who the... Who gives a fuck about Kwee Wee? Yeah. Well, guess what? I thought this match was great. In his fucking long fucking... In his, in his, fucking, in his fucking long hot pants. Pink hot, pants. Yeah, his hot pink pants. In his pants. fucking orange boots. <laughs> and his fucking hair spiked and his, up. And his fucking hair spiked. Looking like got kind of fucking outlet. <laughs> it looks like, yeah. But guess what? This match was actually really good. We see a dive from Jason Jett on the outside. Springboard DDT when he went up. Like, he, he ran up to him. Springboard his legs off the ropes and did the DDT on the which outside, looked good. which looked good. And then Tommy, we see the 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 spot that we see a lot of times on ECW. Yeah, and to be honest, it wasn't that better as Kid Cash's. But... Yeah, Kid Cash and Easy Money did it better. But uh, if you remember, it the, was still pretty decent. The uh, the top rope power bomb into a hurricane. Uh, yeah, uh, which uh, it it looked okay. It but... looked okay, but I, I prefer him and Kid Cash yeah. doing it. But nonetheless. Uh, we see, um, we see, uh, Kwee Wee play hooky. Yep. 
uh, and he hits him with a with an uh, well he he goes for an elbow. Yeah. Or sorry, no, my bad. Jason Jet played hooky. Yes. Because uh, he was on the outside, and Jason Jet told him to keep their mouth shut, and he laid down. Yeah. And we we went to the top rope to do a to do a elbow, misses the elbow. And then time we see the crash landing. Yes, which was a, jet. which was a big suplex and big just a suplex. It was like a suplex, but he drops down. Yeah. So it, it didn't look that good. No, it did. <laughs> but anyway, he hits the crash landing, and Jason Jet, a young and upcoming Jason one, jet. two, three, and Jason Jet, easy money, picks up the win here over in Queen. an upset over Queewee. It was an upset. It was an upset. Big win for Jason Jett here. In a Over good match. Kiwi. In a very good match. In a good match. I was surprised. Yeah, this is, I was impressed with this match. <laughs> Next match time, we got a tournament finals match for the WCW Cruiserweight Tag Team Championships. Yes. <coughs> Which is um, WCW's newest title belts that look yeah, uglier than a motherfucker, It did by look the way. fucking ugly, didn't it? Good lord. And... and <clears throat> And another problem, I've seen all the people in this tournament. Yeah. I didn't know Jason Lee was here. Yeah. Um, I didn't know some of these guys were there. They went through the, the, the tournaments and, and everything. Uh, like, we're seeing people that we've seen in, like, OVW. Like, we've seen Jason Lee, uh, which I didn't even know he was there. Uh, he wrestled in WCW for a little bit, but he was there. Um, we remember him from OVW with yeah. the Suicide Blondes. Yeah. So, I'm... That was a nice little, a little. Uh, Saw AJ Styles and Air Paris. Uh, AJ Styles, Air, Air Paris, uh, uh, Air Raid, as they yep. as they were called in WCW. So, uh, <clears throat> Tommy, it boils down to the finals. Yeah, the finals of the Cruiserweight WCW Cruiserweight Tag Team Championship. Here are the finals. Why does the Cruiserweight need a tag team title? I don't fucking know, but. Anyway, but I, I guess they're just grasping for straws at this point. And that, and by the way, they were ugly looking. Yeah, they were. They were ugly ass belts. Yeah, they were ugly ass belts. And as we got in the finals here, we got Elix Skipper walking out to a, to Vince McMahon dance. Why don't you give us a little? <laughs> That's what the fuck he was doing. I don't know what the fuck Elix Skipper was doing. Prime time, Elix Skipper. I don't know what the fuck dance that was. Tell I don't know if he was saying, yeah, I know we're going under in eight days. So <laughs> Fuck it. And then has he teams with, well, oh, we know this motherfucker very well. Oh, we know him very well. We see him a lot. We, we, we see him a lot on Saturday yeah, and night. always win fucking matches. Like, I know. When's this fucker going to lose? Yeah, yeah, and he never did. No, and I was like, what, why are you giving this fucking idiot a push? He sucks. Tommy Kid the, Romeo. The Latin superstar himself, Kid Romeo. And what the fuck? Uh, it looks like he shakes his dick in front of people. <laughs> it looks like it does. He looks like he's a fucking stripper. <laughs> hey, hey, stripper o It's the Romeo stripper o Because every time, it looked like he was a fucking stripper. So primetime Alex Skipper and Kid Romeo take on Billy Kidman, Kidman and Rey Mysterio Jr. Which, to be honest, I want Kidman and Rey Mysterio Jr. to win this match. Did you like the half mask of Ray? No, that looked like shit. Out? That looked yeah. like shit. I didn't dig it. Um, you know what the sad part is? Hmm. I'd rather have Rey Mysterio and K Billy Kidman win this match. Well, they didn't. Of course not. Well, and we're, and we're going to get into yeah, it. Yeah, we're going to see how completely Tommy, idiotic this was. We see a double dive off the stage yes. from, from Kidman and Mysterio. That they, they both dive onto uh, Romeo and yeah. uh, Skipper. Uh, then, I don't know. Like, this, this match wasn't that good. It wasn't. It really wasn't. Fuck Kiwi, Kiwi and fucking Jason Jett had a better match than these fuckers. And you know what? It has Billy Kidman and Ray Mysterio in it. And, and that's sad. And it looks Skipper. I like it. Looks yeah, Skipper. and it now, looks Kim Skipper. Now, Kid Romeo, fuck him. Yeah, Kid Romeo, he belongs on that fucking Saturday night. <laughs> but, Tommy, they, they end up doing dives on each other yeah. from the ring and it to, looks the, like shit. To, to, the, to the floor. And it looks like shit. And it looks like shit. Uh, Ray attempts a moonsault. But, Tommy... Kid Romeo reverses it into the last kiss, which is... Well, as we like to call it... The Romeo relax. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what we see on Saturday night. That's all I heard every goddamn time. Oh, yeah, it's a what it's the, the Rome Romeo relaxer. <laughs> I like to relax when he's not in wrestling. <laughs> Which, if you guys still don't know what that is, it looks like the snow plow from yeah. like fucking Al Snow. So he hits him with the fucking last kiss or Romeo relaxer, whatever the fuck you want to call it, strip, 
The stripper drop, whatever you want to call it. The stripper drop. <laughs> One, two, three, and he beats Rey Mysterio. Yep. So, the winners. And the first ever. And the first ever Cruiserweight Tag Team Champions. Primetime Meal like Skipper and Kid Romeo. And what the fuck dance was that? They started dancing at the end of the Yeah, match. what the fuck dance was that? I don't know. I really don't. It looks like Kid Romeo knows about the strip club, because that's where he belongs. What the fuck dance was that? I... <laughs> what the fuck dance was that shit? I'm fucking dancing in techno music. I don't, I don't know, know what the fuck. Up. You see him like Skipper doing this, I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Where's Daniels and C and Chi? That's what I was saying. Because let me tell you, this match sucked. I'd rather see Triple X. I'm going to be honest, this match sucked. Yeah. And, and Elix Skipper, I like Elix Skipper. But Kid Romeo, you fucking suck, pal. <laughs> go go back and shake your dick in front of the fucking old senior citizens. Well, I guess. <laughs> Motherfucking Saturday <clears throat> night fuck. Oh, Lord. Tommy, next we have Stacy Keebler. Alright, now we're getting something interesting. This uh, is way, so far, this is better than the goddamn Rey Mysterio <laughs> Kid versus Elix Skipper Kid Romeo. I would love to see Stacy walk down right. the aisle. That was a lot better. I was right. like, oh, now, now business picked up. Oh, here. yeah. And, and she's dressed like Miss Hancock. And looks hot. Which, Gosh, she looks hot. And she's still hot. She's still hot. I love Stacy Keebler. Uh, Stacy Keebler wants to introduce Tommy. Her right. new boyfriend. Her Lord. new boyfriend. And here Tommy, he comes. The Mecca of Manhood. What was the fucking song going down? Or, <laughs> no. or fucking do it. Do it. Do it. I thought it was going to blow me off. <laughs> what the fuck? All I heard was blow me, it. blow me, blow me off. All I heard was do it, do it, do it. And then I see fucking Sean Stasiak. I was like. A.K.A. the Mecca of Manhood. I was like, no, what? Tommy, Sean, the star, Stasiak. I was like, well, well, never mind. I'd rather see Kim in the Mysterio. Because <laughs> here comes Sean Chiropractor Stasiak out. Uh, listen, Sean looked good. Sean, Sean Stasiak looked good as far I'm as the be honest, In the wrestling. ring, he wasn't worth a shit. But his wrestling. To me, he wasn't worth a shit in the ring. Uh, decent promo. And he was just a, a fucking... He was like a fucking Shane Douglas. Like, just... Eh. Yeah, like... Blah. Blah. Um, so he comes out and says, Welcome to the Sean and Stacy show, show, I guess. And, and he has these fucking dingy 8x10s with the crappy WCW logo on them. <laughs> the bird logo. it says Sean Stasiak on it. <laughs> the bird logo. With the bird like... logo and the shit right there in the middle of it. <laughs> and uh, so he throws some of these fucking shitty 8x10s out to the crowd in his vanilla folder. <laughs> that he got from from whoever's office it was, probably Bischoff. Uh, Tommy fucking, also also he makes fun of his his opponent Bam. Yeah, Bam he Bigelow. makes fun of his opponent Bam Bam Bigelow, calling him toothless, fat, just like the crowd here. Yeah, yeah, just like that's typical team. Florida. So that, that's the way they do look. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> and uh, so here he comes out, Bam Bam Bigelow. So we got Sean. Hang on, before before yeah, we get to the match, okay, okay. here comes Bam Bam Bigelow in a in a fucking polo shirt. Yeah, it looked like a polo shirt. It did. It looked like one of them. You know those dress shirts, but but the goddamn uh, sleeves, sleeves are off the motherfucker and his button. It's like a button up dress shirt. Yeah, and he has his tights on. Yes. Yeah, so does. why? And why the hell is Bam Bam wearing sneakers? <laughs> sneakers, I don't know. Why did he, didn't it look like he was wearing sneakers? Well, you pointed out to me at the end of the match. Yeah, you go. What do you mean, sneakers? <laughs> what do you mean, sneakers? And then he sees the sneakers and goes, All right, I do see the sneakers now. Tommy. Se sneakers now. <laughs> do it, do it now. Uh, new balance. <laughs> we got, new, new, new balance. We got Bam Bam Bigelow versus the Mecca of Manhood, Tommy. Sean the Star. Stasiak with st with hot ass Stacy on the Can outside. Can I tell you something? The yes. only thing interesting in this match was Stacy. I, I agree. <laughs> I'll tell you that right uh, now. This match sucked. It sucked. And you know what's the sad part is? Hmm. I really have Bam Bam win this match. Well, which it didn't happen. Which uh, he comes off the rope, uh, off the top rope of the headbutt. Yeah. And actually hits. Uh, Sean Stasiak with it. Very nice headbutt by Bam yeah. Bam, though. And then you see Sean Stasiak. Yeah, shit. going convulsions. <laughs> going convulsions. And he's going for the cover. <clears throat> yeah. So the referee's distracted with Stacy. Stacy. 
Stacy throws in. He take takes the bun out of her hair. Yeah. Throws hairspray in. And Stasek sprays Bam Bam in the eyes. Yeah. So Bam Bam tries to clothesline. He's blind here. He's trying to clothesline. Sean Stasek hit one of the worst neck breakers I've ever seen in my life. Hooks the leg, sneakers in the air. Bam- <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. I love Bam Bam, though. Yeah, yeah. But to be honest, I understand why they put fucking Stasiak over Bam Bam. I, I, I understand it. I don't approve of it. Well, but I, I don't approve of it. But I understand because Sean Stasiak's more fucking younger or whatever. Yeah. Which still sucks. I don't give a damn if you're young or old or not. If the you take, young roll. If you fucking suck, you fucking suck. Yeah. Okay, and Planet Stasiak, you've always sucked, pal. That's why you went to chiropractor. I don't think you're good at that either. How'd it feel, how'd it feel having a tape recorder at WrestleMania 17 and ruin your push? How did that feel? You weren't the star then, were you? No, he was you weren't the mecca. the mecca either. You were jobbing. Job, 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 job in. Now. All right. Uh, and so the match we, sucked. Yeah, so Sean so Stacey. Sean Stacey yeah, gets the win. Oh, uh, he kisses Stacy. Yeah, he kisses Stacy and throws thro- throws fucking gives more. fucking Bam Bam big little picture while he's rubbing the eyes. No, no, he signs it. And yeah, he, he signs it, gives it to Bam Bam, and, and Bam Bam's like, "Fuck yeah, you, yeah, Bam Bam." Goes, "Fuck that goddamn picture." I'm wiping my I'm wiping my my uh, eyes out with his WCW logo, <laughs> and that's what he did. Yeah. And, and, then, and then he throws some more picks out to the crowd. Yeah, and then... Kisses Stacy. Kisses Stacy and... Then Stacy kisses him. Yeah, and then uh, grabs his fucking butt cheeks. And, yeah, I was and like, that's the end of this. I was like, let's move on. <laughs> move on. Now! <laughs> move, 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 move on now. Next match, Tommy, we got the members of Team Canada in Landstorm and the Canadian Destroyer. Technically. Yep. Uh, or sorry, the Canadian, Canadian killer. K- killer, excuse me. Mike Awesome. Uh, Mike Awesome. As they take on an unlikely tag team, in my opinion. Very unlikely. Conan and Hugh Morris. Yeah. Which, uh, which, when we get to the match, this is what made me laugh the most, but, Tommy, for weeks. Yeah. Um... Team Canada and, 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 and Mike Awesome and Lance Storm have, have gotten involved in uh, in Hugh Morris's matches. Yeah. And uh, Hugh Morris has been getting involved in their matches. Yeah. For getting involved in the, his matches. Yeah. And so this is where it blows off to, Tommy. Did you see... Of course, we get Lance Storm and Awesome to come out first. They want to play the Canadian National Anthem. Yeah. Uh, the idiot that runs the truck don't know how to do it. Yeah. And uh, all you hear is laughter. <laughs> and then here comes fucking... Uh... I thought Kurgan was coming out there. <laughs> That's what I thought. I was like, did they get Kurgan? <laughs> but anyway. They brought in Kurgan for eight days. <laughs> uh, eight days only. But um, uh, it, it's pretty much the no laughing matter of, uh, of Hugh Morris. He comes down, Tommy. And then they start... They start beating down Hugh Morris, and then out of nowhere, here comes fucking Conan. Yeah, he just runs in. Yeah, he just runs in. No fuck. Then they play his music, and he's already in the goddamn <laughs> ring. <laughs> he's already in the ring when they play his music. I was like, you might as well not well, even play it. Well, 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 that's WCW for you. Yeah. Uh, what'd you think? The match was not that good. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, it was meh. It was just okay. It wasn't that uh. decent. Uh, Lance ends up distracting Hugh Morris, and, uh, we see, uh, he pushed Lance Storm off of him, because yeah. he's, he's on the turnbuckle, and Tommy Awesome grabs, uh, Hugh Morris and hits him with the Awesome Bomb. Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, as, uh, as Conan's trying to get in, Lance Storm grabs him by his fucking... Yeah, he grabs him by his fucking FUBU. <laughs> yeah, by his FUBU underwear and pulls him out. He's like, where the fuck are you going? <laughs> you know, you ain't getting no job events. Hey, you ball-headed fuck. You, you, I know I'll be getting a job. I know you won't, Conan. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Because you didn't do Max Moon, bitch. That's right. <laughs> anyway, um... You know what the funny part? All three of these guys get hired by WWE except for Conan. Except for Conan. He, he gets he, hired. He only lays his ass back to Mexico. <laughs> and, and and then when TNA comes around, I'm called the Magic Stick. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody calls you the Magic Stick. With his wizard jersey <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. 
What uh, the fuck were you called the magic stick? <laughs> Never. And you um, ain't no love doctor either. <laughs> Landstorm and Mike Austin pick up a win in a meh match yeah, over Hugh Morris yeah, and uh, Conan. Right. Well, it wasn't a good fucking tag match. Next, Tommy, we have a little backstage segment. Tommy, in the back, we've yeah. had Buff Bagwell. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not sure if it's Lex Luger filming or if it's just somebody filming. Or some it. fucking or guy. Or, I don't fucking know. Or, or just some fan or whatever. But somebody's filming backstage with Buff Bagwell. Uh, he goes to Flair's office and Flair... Yeah, and Flair's and, in this horrible fucking Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Which this was earlier in the show, but it, it kind of goes yeah. with the... Well, with the, Flair was in this horrible Hawaiian fucking shirt. With the spiked hair. And you see Jeff Jarrett in his black jeans and slap nut sh shirt, which I can understand. Okay, that's fine. With the Bob Vila glasses. Yeah, with the Bob Vila glasses on. Yeah. But... And bloated ass animals in yeah, there. Yeah, uh, animals in there for some reason. I don't fucking know. I guess he's part Well, of, he's part of the Magnificent yeah, he's, Seven. He's, 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 the, uh, he's the bodyguard, I guess, the flare or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And animals in there. And, uh... They're talking about how, how, how they're going to take Dusty and Dustin to school. Yeah, and... And fucking Ric Flair goes, I ain't kissing no ass or some shit like this. Yeah, yeah. And his horrible Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> that horrible Hawaiian t-shirt. I don't get It was. Yeah, and then Tommy, we get to another backstage segment here. With where, uh, Rick Steiner and Buff Bagwell, right? Yeah. You see Rick Steiner, what's he eating? Chicken wings? <laughs> Fresh right on your ears. I don't know. He was eating something. I don't know if it was chicken wings or, or what. Yeah, he was eating something. He's probably, I don't know what the fuck he was eating. Pistachios. Pistachios, chicken know, wings, fucking something. combos. I don't know what the fuck he was eating. And Buzz talking of, uh, what's going on with Scotty, man? What's going on with Scotty, man? <laughs> yeah, what's going on with Scotty, man? Uh, and, and Rick Starr goes, I don't know, Buff. <laughs> Are you going to be Gigolo in here in a couple of years? <laughs> Gigolo, Kelly. Going to be Gigolo in here in a few years? <laughs> yeah. He got them breaks yet? <laughs> <laughs> You got uh, them thongs yet? <laughs> Tommy. And, and then Rick started go get a woman in here. <laughs> be honest, I don't fucking know what that was about. I was like, fuck this dude. Then the next segment we get is Dusty and Dustin in the back. Oh, Dusty and Dustin in the back, boy. And fucking... By Dusty, the lockers. By, by the dingy lockers. Yeah, by the dingy lockers. Dusty in the great cowboy hat. <laughs> yes. And here he goes, yeah, bring it in here. Yeah, bring it on in here. He Sit on that here, He right brings here. these fucking burritos. Yeah, there's this big tray of burritos. Big tray of fucking burritos in this aluminum foil. Yeah. And fucking, and fucking does, come on, we got a match. Yeah, I got a match. Flair's face in my ass, that's the match. Yeah, Flair's face in my ass, that's the match. I'm going to eat these burritos and then I'll be ready. <laughs> I'll eat these burritos and then I'll be ready. And boy, he was whooping down them burritos. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, he, like he did in 89. <laughs> hey, man, aren't you? Hey, man, aren't you? When that guy was yeah. eating burrito with Dusty. Hey, go. I think I was the guy that was handing, <laughs> was bringing in the burritos from 89. Yeah, it looked like I, it. It looked like he's like, hey, man, want these? <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, the next thing we get is another promo package in the back. Tommy, we got Sean O'Hare and Chuck Columbus. Chuck Palumbo. <laughs> yeah, Chuck. I, said, I was about to say Columbo. <laughs> Chuck Palumbo. Chuck Palumbo. He pops knows about Columbo. Yeah, yeah. He lo he lo he lo he loves the television show Columbo. But Tommy, so we got Sean O'Hare and Chuck Palumbo. They're in the back. They are the WCW tag they're team. They're WCW tag team champions. They're saying that they're going that they're going to take on totally buff tonight. Which they're is Buff Bagwell out. and Lex Luger. And and they're going to take him out any any means yes. necessary. And then Tommy. They just stand there for a second. And we, and we, Flair. Yeah, we hear, we hear the camera. Well, by the camera, man, you see fucking, fucking Sean Harris. It's going to be easier to jump on. It's to jump off. And then all this. And then you see Sean Harris shaking his tits. Clear. Clear. You, you, you hear the producer of the cameraman go, Clear. <laughs> fucking hilarious. Uh, then we get a, Tommy, then we get the Cruiserweight Tag Team Championship. Really? <laughs> 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 I was like, what? <laughs> what is supposed to be the WCW Cruiserweight Championship? Yeah, but but they did the tag team graphic again. Oh, God. As it's going to be for the, the WCW Cruiserweight Singles Championship. Yeah. We have the champion Chavo Guerrero Jr. as he takes on Sugar Shane Hill. With the Sugar Babies. With the Sugar Babies. Which is the Nitro Girls. A.K.A. the Nitro Girls. And, and coming out to that, that fucking song, Vertebraker. Breaker. <laughs> On your knees, vertebraker. <laughs> On your neck, vertebraker. 
grab the arms for the breaker. <laughs> Did you like the song? Oh, yeah. And you know what? Yeah. This was a good match. This was a good match. I enjoyed this match between Chavo Guerrero and, and, Shane, and, and Shane, Shane Helms. Compared to what we've seen in the tag team title cruiserweight match. Where it was, fucking where it was dives galore. galore. Yeah. This was, match was two dives. Yeah. That was it. That was it. This dives. match was mainly wrestling. Mainly wrestling, two dives. And, and it was a good match. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I really... It was a brush of... A breath of fresh air. It really was. Uh, we see uh, the kick uh, on the ramp. Um, Shane uh, punches Chavo off the turnbuckle, and uh, we see Chavo attempt to do his to do his own vertebraker. Yes, but Shane Helms reverses it and do the vertebraker. The vertebraker. One, two, three. Your winner and new. WCW Cruiserweight Singles Champion. That's right. Sugar Shane Helms. Sugar Shane Helms. For the breaker. And then here comes the, the Sugar break. Babies. Yeah, because the Sugar Babies doing a little dance. <laughs> doing a little dig. For the breaker. <laughs> Do a little jig. Uh, I thought this was a really good match. This was. I really enjoyed this Cruiserweight yeah. Championship match. Chavo a, and Shane Helms. Yeah, they put on a really good match. Now, Tommy, let's see if we're on the opposite uh view of the spectrum in this match. Match Tommy is for the WCW World Tag Team Championships. Yes, as we have the challengers. Totally buffed. Lex Luger and Buff Bagwell. Did you like the sign in the crowd? Lex Loser? Lex Loser. <laughs> Lex Loser, yeah. yeah. He's been holding on that sign until he saw Luger. <laughs> yeah, he did. He's like, when's Luger coming out? I want to show him this great baby blue sign. And then Tommy, they... They came out and cut a promo. And it and it was a fucking it long. It was a long promo. Talking about how how uh, Chuck O'Hare and <laughs> Sean Palumbo. Yeah, or, is that their names? <laughs> is that their names or, or or whatever they're called? We're stars. Yeah. You're looking at, at at stars like Buff Bagwell and the total package. And I was like, okay. And you know the, And they're still talking about themselves, still talking, still talking. <sighs> And then I was like, God damn, can we get Sean O'Hare and Chuck Palumbo out here? And then we hear, do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, the, the fucking, uh, what are those called? The, uh, the backstage assault theme. Yeah, the backstage assault theme. And here comes Sean O'Hare and Chuck Palumbo. Tommy, we see a jungle kick yeah. from Chuck Palumbo. On to Luger. On to Luger. And to Buff. Then to Buff. And then he puts some... And then uh, Sean O'Hare hits the Sean Time Bomb on Luger. You hear Luger, oh, oh! <laughs> and, and fucking you see Sean, uh, Chuck Palumbo moving Luger out of the fucking way. Yeah, get the fuck out of the way. Get the fuck out of the way. And then, and then Sean O'Hare goes for the Sean Time Bomb on Buff. Double pin by Chuck Palumbo and Sean O'Hare on Bagwell and Luger. One, two, three. Yeah. It was quick. The promo! The promo was longer than the fucking match. The match was like a couple seconds. Yeah. It... It was literally maybe 30 or 40 seconds. Yeah, so your winners are still WCW Tag Team Champions. Chuck Palumbo and Sean O'Hare with a big win. With a big win. But we're totally buffed. And why the fuck were they in the ring so long? I don't know. I I'm assuming it's because they're unprofessional pricks. I don't fucking know, but they were in the ring fucking forever. At least Luger got out of the ring. Buff was staying. Buff was fucking laying there like he's <laughs> like he fucking shot. Looks like, 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 come on, get your daddy ass out of the ring. Get your daddy ass out of the ring. Well, you got your ass beat and move on. Why don't you give us a little fucking WCW versus NWO World Tour fucking buff? Hey! 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 hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> fucking hate buff. Anyway. You know, I'm thinking about putting that on my Instagram. <laughs> hey! 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 Uh, then they finally get out of the fucking ring. Good lord. Yeah, it took fucking forever. Next. Oh, watch his neck. No, that ain't nothing wrong with his fucking neck. Just get his goddamn ass out of the ring. <laughs> get his ass out of the ring. He'll be jiggling in a few years. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Next match, Tommy. We got Ernest the Cat Miller. Oh, I love Ernest the Cat Miller. With Mrs. Jones. I do like Ernest the Cat Miller. As he takes on Who Better Than Canyon. And you know what? I enjoyed this match. This was a good match. And you know what? I love this match. And you know what else I love? Hmm. Canyon Selling. Canyon Selling was awesome. But Tommy, the backstory of this match is, well, Canyon gets the Canyon Cutter on Miss Jones. Yes. And uh, 
Ernest the Cat Miller's getting revenge. Yeah, he's getting revenge on him. Also, he hit the he hit the uh, the canyon cutter on M I Smooth. If yes, you guys he did. don't know who M I Smooth That's, is, that's uh, Ice Train. Ice Train, who was uh, uh, he was kind of like a bodyguard, somewhat yeah. to to uh, Ernest the Cat Miller. Yeah. Um, this was actually a pretty good match. Yeah, it was. I really enjoyed this match. Um, we see. Uh, we see um, a low blow and a roll up uh, from Canyon, but he puts his feet on the ropes. And the referee saw it. But the referee... Uh, he counted three, but then yeah. he restarted the match. Yeah, the referee counted three, but he had to restart the match. Uh, Canyon actually knocks out the referee with a cast because yep. Canyon apparently hurt his hand when he did the when he did the cutter on M.I. Smooth. Yeah. And so he has a... So he hits the referee in the back of the head with his cast. And then uh, he wants to go after uh, Miss Jones. Yes. And uh, we see Miller grabs a hold of Canyon. Yes. And is holding him while Miss Jones is about to kick him. And, and, and Canyon dunks and she kicks Ernest the Cat Miller in the head. Yep. So now Ernest is down. The referee's down. The referee's chaos. down. And Miss Jones goes, come on, I'll fight you. Yeah. And she goes for a kick, Canyon moves out of the way. Mm-hmm. And then, then she goes for, then she, I think she hit her, hit him with one kick. She hit him the second time. Yeah, she hit him the second time in the, in the face with the kick. He turns around. He turns around. Ernest Miller Ernest, hits him with the feline. Yeah, hits him with the feline. I love how fucking... Can you fucking sold like a motherfucker for that? He just jumps right in the air. <laughs> yeah, he falls down, his legs go straight up, and it goes back down. Yeah, he he. I I like how Canyon sells. Yes. And one, two, three, and Ernest the Cat Miller gets the win here, and in revenge over who better than Canyon? For Mrs. Jones. For Miss Jones. Tommy. Canyon attacks Miller. And then Canyon goes, "Oh, you won the match. Well, I'm gonna take care of this motherfucking problem." <laughs> Why is got his cape Jones. on? Yeah, Miss Jones grabs the damn and, cape. And Canyon on... gets up, hits, hits, uh, Canyon hits, uh, Ernest Miller in the head with his cast. Yeah. And here comes in my smooth to make the save. Oh, flatliner. Oh, yeah, he hits the flatliner. Yeah, he hits the flatliner. And he's about to go after Miss Jones. Yes. And here comes in my smooth to save the day. With a chair. With a chair, and Canyon goes, I don't want none of, uh, of old ice cream. Not enough of him. I Try to beat him down, so I don't need... <laughs> And so, and why I, why in my smooth music still playing Ernest Miller doing them three and all this. <laughs> yeah. You should be champion. playing Ernest Miller thing. <laughs> yeah, they're playing. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> we have Ernest Miller yeah. with that song. Huh? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was a good match. It was a good match all together, but. Uh, next one, Tommy, for the WCW United <laughs> States Championship. We got the champion, the dog face gremlin himself, Rick Steiner. In, in a t-shirt. In a t-shirt. As he takes and a nice on. biker fucking <laughs> jacket. I like that jacket. Oh, yeah. The jacket's bad. And the bite me tights. <laughs> versus. With the dog on it. Versus Booker T. Yes. And you know what? Yeah. This match was okay. I like this match. Like, it was good. Like. It was good. I, it was good until kind of the finish. Yeah, the, the finish was a little lack. I think that's what kind of killed it for me was the finish. Yeah. The... It was going good. Well, well, we'll get into that. Yeah, but um, uh, you want to tell you what my favorite was? <laughs> Rick Steiner. Rick Steiner, baby. How many times did he say "shut up" to these people? Quite a bit. And then you want to tell you what my favorite was? When he walked up to Booker T. When he, when he beats down Booker T. While he's got him down, he's talking shit. My favorite was part was this: "You're gonna take my title? You ain't taking shit. Yeah, you ain't taking shit." Hey, what? Yeah, You're gonna try to take my belt? You ain't taking shit. It starts beating the fuck out of Booker T. I thought this match was a yeah, decent match. It was good. It was decent. Uh, two guys that are capable of having a good match. It's just the finish. The finish really killed yeah. it. Yeah. It really did. Um, we see uh, Steiner pulls the ref... Uh, well, yeah, yeah, pulls the referee into a kick yeah, from Booker, Booker T. Booker T accidentally kicks the referee. And then uh, Steiner hits him with a German suplex. Yes. He attempts the top rope bulldog. Yes. And out of nowhere, out through the crowd, comes Shane Douglas. Shane Douglas. And he gets up on the apron. While Steiner's waiting for Booker T to get up so he can hit the bulldog. Yeah. Shane Douglas hits Rick Steiner in the back of the head with his cast. Where are all these casts coming from? I don't fucking know. Good lord. 
And supposedly, I guess, Steiner cost Shane Douglas a match, I guess. Uh, fuck Shane Douglas. Yeah, fuck Shane Douglas. And, uh, so, St Steiner stumbles after he got hit in the back of the head. Gets off the, the cast, rope. Goes for a clothesline. Booker T hits the book in. One, two, three. Your winner and new WCW United States Champion, Booker T. That's right. Really? As I actually circled the wrong one, but yes, you, you know, are but, correct. But, but, like, it's just that that finish bothered me. Yeah. It was a good match until the fucking finish. It was, it was. If Shane Douglas wanted to interfere, how about you interfere on Nitro where no one watches? <laughs> Nobody watches Nitro. Yeah, especially, especially around this Yeah, you, you, he kind of ruined this fucking match for me. Uh, next match, Tommy, is the one you've been looking forward to. Oh, here we go. It's the Kiss My Ass match. And before that, and it shows, we go to the locker room where oh, Dusty yeah, yeah. and Dustin is. Yeah, the promo. And he ate all them burritos. Bro. Yeah, Dust, Dusty pounded down those... Those burritos. And he's about to fart, and, and Dustin goes, Don't hike that leg over here. <laughs> Don't hike that leg over here. <laughs> kind of like the old man over there. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, better eat, better have to do that. My favorite was with Tony Schiavone. Those ain't the high end burritos either. Those are the gas station burritos. <laughs> yeah, those are the gas station burritos. <laughs> uh, so it's the kiss my ass match, Tommy. The loser of the match has to kiss the winner's ass. Yes, yeah, so, even though so we got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the chosen one, Jeff Jarrett. No, no, the ch 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 chosen one. Yeah, Jeff Jarrett teaming with Ric Flair, who's still in the Hawaiian shirt. But, this but, time, but a different one. It's still in a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. He's not dressed. <laughs> Fucking Flair goes, huh? I ain't going to get this one dirty. I'll, yeah, I'll get, get the other one I'll get this other Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Go to Don Morocco's body shop <laughs> and, get, and get, me, get me two Hawaiian shirts. I want one for the segments, and I want one for the ring. That's right. And here he's changed in the ring gear. He's like, oh, fuck the slacks. I can wear the same slacks. <laughs> Riffler's out there wrestling in slacks and a fucking Hawaiian t-shirt. <laughs> yes. And his Dusty's in the blue jeans. And the well, at least Dusty looks like he's in gear. Uh, for, uh... This this is what Dusty wore like for like bunkhouse stampedes yeah. and things of that nature. So you kind of see him even wore it in wore. ECW. Hey, yeah, wore it in ECW, going against old Steve Carino, the the, yeah. the, the the king of old school. And you know what? This match was was pretty good. It was pretty good. Um, we see, uh, of course, this match comes about, Tommy, because Flair asked Dustin, Dustin Rhodes to join his group, the Magnificent Seven. And Dusty Rhodes, Dusty Rhodes go, you can go to hell. I ain't joining shit. Yeah. And, uh... And so, Ric Flair goes, I'll never hire your ass. Yeah. And so, uh, this old Dusty gets involved. And, and Jeff Jarrett's dressed like Dusty, remember? If you weave. <laughs> Dust, the fruit of my loins. The fruit of my loins. And you see, and you see Jeff carrying a bucket of chicken. <laughs> Making fun of the old dream. Yep. Um... And as he... Dresses like Dusty taking on jobbers. Yeah. Uh, which which is pretty funny, but, yeah. you know, at the end of the day, uh, that pokes the bear of, of old Dust. Uh, so now we got this tag Dusty. match. Yes. <clears throat> I will say this. Big pop for Dusty coming out. Yep. They're, well, they're they in did, Florida. They didn't really pop for, like, Flair or Jarrett, but once Dusty came yeah. out there, they popped for Dusty. Yeah. Uh, but once again, Florida, where he started. People love Dusty at, d d down in Florida. That's right. Um, Tommy, uh, this match, uh, let's just be honest, nothing special no, but about it was, this it, match. It served the purpose. But it served the purpose. And what that purpose is, is Dustin and Jeff does a lot of the in-ring work in this yep. match. And Dusty and Flair do get in the ring. Dusty and Flair do get in the ring a few times, but nothing, nothing fantastic here. Tommy, we see Jarrett... And Flair attempt to put on a a, fig, a double figure four. Yeah, you know, one on he, Dustin and one on Dusty. Yeah, and they kick each other off. Yep, yeah, and Jared goes through the ropes. Dustin, a horrible roll up on Flair. It looked like shit. A horrible roll up. It looked like shit. It did. A horrible roll up. You see Flair shaking in the slacks. One, two, three. <laughs> Still wearing that horrible Hawaiian shirt. Yes, from Don Morocco's body shop. <laughs> And uh, so, Flair loses, so that means he's got to kiss some ass. Yeah. And Flair walks out and says, I ain't kissing shit. Yeah, I ain't kissing shit. And Jeff comes behind. 
Yeah, Jeff comes behind uh, Dusty, and Dusty hits him. But no, Dustin. Du was it Dustin? Yeah, Dustin got him. Well, anyway, Dustin grabs fucking uh, Jarrett's arm. Yeah, hold him. And, and around, 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 around the turnbuckle. Yeah, and so, so old, old Dusty pulls down the bloomers. Yeah, Dust, Dusty pulls down the Dusty jeans. Yep, yeah, and there's the red undies. <laughs> the red undies. And he pulls them down a little bit. White puts his ass in Jeff's face. And Jeff goes, God damn, that smell. <laughs> that smell. <laughs> Smells like AEW, don't it? <laughs> he didn't say that. That's what I would have said. <laughs> it smells like AEW, don't it? AEW. But, uh. And so Dusty and Dustin, you know, Dusty pulls the bloomers back up. And that's the end of that. You know. It, it, it was what it was to serve the purpose. God. It got my it got, ass yeah. match. That, that's what was advertised. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah. Nothing special of, of the match though, but but it was decent. It was it was as advertised. Yes. And Tommy, let's go to the main event. Excuse me here. The main event of WCW Greed 2001. Tommy, we got the great intro by Michael Buffer. Yep. Ready to e rumble. E even though they're out eight days, they can still pay that thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand dollars. Yeah. Uh, Michael Buffer, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, you know. Uh, well, let's get, get ready, ready to rumble. rumble and all this. So here we go. It's for the WCW World Heavyweight title. Falls yep. count anywhere. Falls count anywhere as the challenger. Diamond Dallas Page takes on the reigning and defending. WCW World Heavyweight Champion. Big Papa Pump Scott Steiner. Where there's number one. What was it? God Freak. Day? Yeah, number one freak, Medasia. Medasia. Sound like goddamn Michael Buck, Medasia. <laughs> Medasia. Uh, Tommy, of course, in Steiner fashion, we start off with uh, with you know with, what? With Scott just making me can, laugh. Can I tell you bat. something? Yeah, I love Scott Steiner. <laughs> Go on outside. Sit down, you know, bitch. <laughs> I love it. Here comes this girl, fucking. My my my, my DDP's in the ring. <laughs> And fucking Steiner's outside. You this girl fucking hacking Steiner, hackling Steiner. He goes, sit down, bitch. <laughs> sit down, bitch. <laughs> and then and he gets stuff. back into the ring, and, he, and some guy goes, shut up, fat ass. And I remember this fucking, fucking, uh, fucking, yeah, yeah, DDP's like you all. He's white trash. <laughs> He's white trash. And my favorite was when he threw DDP outside where the fat guy was. Remember the fat guy? Yes. And he's beating on DDP. He goes, look at me, you fat bastard. You see? <laughs> Go on, fat ass. Yeah, come on, bring your fat ass out here. He's telling the guy, bring your fat ass over the rail. I love it. I love it. I love Steiner. Uh, fall in the crowd. Tommy. <laughs> Conveniently, as they're going into the crowd, yes. there there's a guy on crutches. Yes. With a DDP shirt on. Yes. And Steiner goes, give me that goddamn crutch. <laughs> there's a goddamn guy. Yeah. It's DDP in the back with the crutch. Yep. Yeah. And then DDP, you know, he grabs the other dude's crutch. No. The, he, the same guy. No, the dude throws it to DDP. Yeah, the, 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 the plant. Throws it to DDP. <laughs> I'll go ahead and say do you think do, do you think the DDP shirt fan was a yeah. plant? Oh, fuck yeah. Of course he was. <laughs> of course he was. And, and he throws the uh, other crutch other crutch to DDP and he hits Steiner with it. And then... Uh, he put uh, he puts him onto, onto a table, yeah. does an elbow through the table. And then they come through the crowd. Yes. And Scott Steiner's with this other fan where they're fighting on the uh, up, up stage here. Yeah. Grabs a plastic tray from a fan. Yeah, grabs a plastic tray from a fan, pushes him. And who was that? Who was that guy? It was Paul fucking London. Yeah, that was a fucking plant too. <laughs> it was Paul London. And, and, it's a young Paul London. This guy started goes, "You ain't doing that in your career, bitch." <laughs> Take your ass back to ROH. It grabs, grabs the ah! grabs the plastic tray from a unknown Paul London, and hits DDP with it. Yep. Tommy, in in this chaos, for some odd reason. Scott Steiner's bleeding. Yeah, I don't know how. I, I don't I don't know how he's bleeding, but he's but, bleeding in, from and then, the head. Now DDP's busted open. He gets busted open uh, from... Uh, uh, I think he got hit by... The belt. Yeah. That's right. He uh, DDP hits the diamond cutter. The yes. Tommy Rick comes out. And here comes Rick Steiner. He pulls, uh, he pulls the referee yeah, out. Yeah, and DDP goes after Rick Steiner. 
Knocks him down. Knocks him down. And then when DDP turns around, Scott Steiner hits him in the head with the belt. Yep. And so... That's how DDP gets yeah. busted open. And so Steiner goes for the cover after that. One, two, and DDP kicks out. Then he goes for another roll-up. DDP goes for yeah. a roll-up. They land on the second official. Yeah. Yeah, a little gaga to me. Mm, too many referees. Uh, then Tom, too much. Then Tommy Medasia hands Scott Steiner... It's that goddamn thing you fucking... I th I thought it was a lead pipe. No, it's that goddamn thing you do this, I think. I don't fucking I'm know. not for sure what it is. Well, was. whatever the fuck it is, pipe, fucking, fucking Roy thing, I don't give a fuck what it is. <laughs> yeah. The exercise equipment or yeah, whatever Yeah, I don't give a fuck what it is. But anyway, yeah. some type of bar. Yeah. And, uh, Tommy, did you did you see the shitty uh, shots by, by Steiner? Yeah. Those, those are pretty shitty. That's Scott Steiner. Then, I still like Scott Steiner. Then Tommy... Scott Steiner locks in the he, Steiner recliner. He, and you don't say what Steiner did when he get, hits it in. Get, give us a little Scott Steiner. Well, Scott Steiner about to hook in that Steiner recliner on DDP. You want to tell you what he did when he looked it in? Hey! And you see DDP with the blood trickling down. <laughs> yep. And uh, DDP passes out. <laughs> and the hell he From the Steiner recliner. One, two, three, and... Uh, Ref checked the arm three times, so uh, DDP passed out. So your winner, and still, WCW World Heavyweight Champion, the big bad, booty daddy, Scott Steiner. Then Tommy, the Steiners drape the Michigan flag over Yeah, they grabbed a Michigan flag from the fan for some reason. Drape the flag over DDP. And then Rick Steiner does a few elbows on DDP. <laughs> And then we get a highlights package of what happened on Greed. Uh, what you say about the main event? Uh, I thought it was a decent main event. It was a decent main event. I just didn't like the Gaga -ga with the two referees. Too much Gaga, -ga, but overall, it was a not decent bad. main event. Tommy, worst match on the card. Worst match on the card? Yep. Uh, there I have uh, Bam Bam Bigelow and Sean Stasiak. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the Cruiserweight Tag Team Title Match. Luger and Bagwell and yep. Palumbo and yep. Hair. There we go. Those are the three worst matches on the card. Tommy, best match on the card. I'm gonna go with Jason Jett and Kiwi. And that's and, and that's surprising. I'm gonna go with Shane Helms and Chavo Guerrero. Okay. And I'm gonna go with Scott Steiner versus DDP. I'm also gonna throw in Rick Steiner and Booker T. I yeah, did, I'll, I'll I, throw I, that I, in there too. I, I I I did like those matches. Overall, and I enjoyed the uh, Ernest Miller and Canyon. Too. Oh yeah. So, overall, Tommy... It was a decent pay-per-view. WCW Green wasn't that bad. No, it wasn't that bad at all. It, I, I, This is actually a good show. It was. It was a decent a, show. Especially for it to be WCW's last show. Yeah, it was a decent show. But nonetheless, there you guys go. WCW's swung song, WCW Greed 2001 review. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it over social media. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash wrestling rampage 2. You can also follow uh, us on Twitter at Russell Rampage. You can also follow me and Tommy on Instagram as well as guys. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys because we are that cream that rises to the top. Cream of the crop and nobody does it better.